Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are playing with some bright, colorful makeup. I have the new Romantic palette from Beauty Bay, which is 20 colors and super affordable. But you guys, this eye look like, I'm in love with it. Also, if you noticed, I no longer have that attic door behind me and that is because if you saw the previous video, I rearranged my filming room so that I could at least get my table and filming set up where I wanted it to be, but like, we're not completely moved in, completely unpacked or organized. Maybe that'll be an installment on a series, I don't know, but right now, we are finally in the spot that I wanted to be in. We're situated and playing with some makeup. So if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button down below, hit the bell for notifications new videos. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. But if you wanna see how I got this very bright, pink, romantic eye look, just keep watching. As per usual, I have already primed my eyes and we're gonna jump into the Beauty Bay New Romantic Eyeshadow Palette. This isn't new, new, it's just newer. And I had purchased this, but then I forgot to use it. This is what it looks like. It is so stunning. Um, I have a couple YouTubers that I do follow and they have used this and I was just like, I need to play around with that. So that's what we're doing today. Now, I was looking at some of these colors and I'm like, there's some that I really want to play with. Like this shade right here, Milkshake, is kind of like that corally pink. But then you've also got Claret. Uh, I'll probably use ink to darken up the outer V, but like, I just want to play around with some of these. And then let's see the shimmers. So that one is Oyster. Focus. Then this one is Chintz. Really pretty. Raspberry and Penny. So I like Chintz. I like Oyster. Oh, let's we'll see. We. Although raspberry on camera doesn't look as beautiful as it does in person. So let's see. Ooh, yeah, I kind of want to play with raspberry and then put chintz on like the inner corner. I think that's what we're gonna do. Let's try that out. So now what can we use? Okay, I'm gonna start with milkshake and put this shade in the crease and the outer V, and then I'll take Claret and darken it up a little bit. But, all right, so on a L18 from Laura Lee, I'm gonna grab Milkshake. So pretty. You know how when you get an eyeshadow palette and there's that plastic film? Completely forgot, I was like, why is it so cloudy? Because I forgot. So just stamping that in, kind of getting the crease. I am going to use a lighter shade to blur the edges out, but I just want to put this down first. And I also want to put it right here in the middle so that when I put raspberry down, it has something to grab onto. It is a very bright shade. We'll leave it like that for right now because when I use the lighter shade, it will blend this out and give us a little more defined shape. Now I'm gonna go into, where's my other phone? All right, I'm gonna go into this shade Birthday. It's just a lighter pink. 
the lightest pink. I'm gonna go in on a Sigma E25. And just right here on the edges. I can't tell you how excited I am that I'm actually in the spot that I wanted to be in originally. Um, the video that went up prior to this was me reorganizing my filming room. And I wouldn't say it was like reorganizing. It was more just like placing things where they needed to go. Um, where did my brush go? Okay, now I'm gonna go into Claret on my L19 from Laura Lee. Um, just grab a little bit of it and pack it in the outer V. I'm just placing it there before I blend it out. a lot of pressure when I'm sweeping in the in the crease just because I don't want it to blend away to nothing. But I want it like it just made it very like vibrant and oh, it's just it's so beautiful. Now I want to take that shade raspberry I'm gonna try it on a dry brush. <laughs> dry brushes have not been my friend. Um, it looks like I picked up, it sometimes does, but I always feel like I have better luck with my finger. So the middle finger picks it up. Ooh. That shade is so like buttery and smooth and just, it literally tapped on there. Now I'm gonna go into Chintz, this like silvery white shade on my ring finger. And, ooh. I did say that I wanted to use a little of the shade ink, which it's a flat matte black, which I'm okay with. I'm gonna place it with just a liner pen or liner brush. Oh yeah, that has a lot on there. And actually, I'm not sure why I decided I wanted to deep this, deepen it up because let's just be honest, I'm gonna put black eyeliner over this, but. even a little bit of depth. Just 
just a little bit of a shadow. I only did the liner brush to kind of place it where I wanted it and not like, I, I have a habit of like fluffing it out more than I needed to. So I just wanted that like more precise line so that I could sweep it over. Okay. That's where we are for right now. Where did... I'm gonna go back into Birthday, that lightest pink. This shade right here. Just on my Sigma and on the outer edge. Okay, gonna go do this eye, some face makeup, and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so I'm back and we can finish off this under eye. I feel like when I put on my face makeup, the eyes just, they look so much better than when I didn't have foundation and everything on and nothing smoothed out. But you guys, I'm really enjoying how this turned out and I'm glad that I used that eyeliner brush to like make that precise line and then shade it over. Um, Cause you get like that phantom red right there. And then the same thing over here. Just, I'm really enjoying this palette. Okay, so for under the eye, I'm thinking that I want to do this shade Flamingo, which is a little bit darker than birthday, but a lot lighter than milkshake. So I think we will go in with my Sigma E54, place some of Flamingo under the eye, and then maybe toss milkshake and claret in there to finish it up. But I'm just gonna tap it in place before I smudge it out because I don't want it to be like super blown out. And I'm staying as close to the eyelashes as possible. So far, so good. Now I'm gonna go into Milkshake, just a smidge, just a smidge, because it's bright. And work back here. And then bring it forward. And I'm not going past the middle part of the eye because I don't want it to be <laughs> super bright in the inner corner. Okay, and then for Claret, where is... So I'm just gonna go into that eyeliner brush that I had used for the black shade. Pick up. Ooh, it's so pigmented. Can you see that? That's just, I'm just gonna place that right here under the eye. Why does this look brighter? Sometimes I feel like this eye because it's the first one that I do and this one's a little more like fine-tuned because I have an idea of what I'm doing. Like this one's kind of like the, I don't know, 
mediocre eye <laughs> than this one's like fine-tuned and more precise. I don't know. Okay, so for inner corner highlight, I'm gonna jump into my Disney designer. This is Horse and Carriage. This highlighter is one of my favorites. I wanna say it's still available on ColourPop. It's just that very icy white. I did already do my brow bone with the same color just because I was gonna do my eyebrows and if I don't do my brow bone highlight, I end up with like glitter fluffed into my brows after I do them. And a little under the eye. That is so pretty. All right, you know the deal. I'm gonna go do some eyeliner and mascara and I will be right back. Okay, you guys, I'm back and this is the final look. So I just kept my lips a little neutral. Just, I don't wanna take away from the eyeshadow look, which I am in love with. It is so pretty. Uh, I just, I wasn't sure what to expect with this eyeshadow palette. So this is the new romantic palette from Beauty Bay. Beauty Bay, this is their own brand and they're out of the UK. Now, I just looked this up online, it is still available, but this is only $15 on their website. The eyeshadow blendability, the ease of use, just the creaminess of them, how smooth the mattes were, $15 for 20 shades, you guys. Go check this out if you don't have it, if you were thinking about getting it, I would recommend it. Um, I wasn't sure the direction I was gonna go with my eyeshadow today, and I'll be honest, I had a lot of fun recreating this look. I think when I originally bought this, I had just done the Juvia's Place Sweet Pinks, and I was like, I just did a pink eyeshadow look. Do I want to get another palette that is predominantly pinks and reds? And I mean, there's other shades in here. So there's some bronze shades that I should play around with because I haven't done a bronzy look in a while. Um, but there are some other pops of color like this green is really pretty, this purpley shade. But you guys, I had so much fun with this eyeshadow palette. Go check it out. Uh, I do want to see like what other Beauty Bay eyeshadow products or eyeshadow palettes come out and maybe try those out in the future. But you guys, that's it for this look and this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications of new videos. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it helps me out. Until next time, you guys. Bye. I'll see you in the next one.